Hello oh, and uh, welcome to uh, Sanction uh, by Stavros Vasoulas. And uh, I think uh, three games on the 64. Uh, two of them were shooting ups and the other one was uh, Quidex. Uh, let's get started. Uh, now this came out just before the whole uh, sort of uh, power-up based sort of shooters started to become uh, more commonplace. So it does feel a little bit simplistic, uh, but actually I don't think, uh, I think in hindsight uh, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with it being, uh, you know, simplistic, I think it's not necessarily a bad thing. Now you see the screen is actually split, uh, the, the top part of the screen is, uh, you can use it as a sort of early warning uh, radar, uh, it shows you what sort of attack waves are about to appear on the uh, bottom screen. And it's really a matter of uh, distinguishing between waves that are moving and waves that are fairly static. And the idea is that you just clear each uh, level. I can't remember how many levels there are. Maybe I um, can't remember if it's maybe about 10. I'm not sure. And after each level you, you have a bonus screen. And, and these, these do actually vary. Uh, this one's a, a shoot em up uh, one where you've got to shoot these uh, S icons. All the ones are um, collect, uh, you've got to collect uh, the icons instead or, or avoid them. Just to break up the sort of main sort of level. It stops the game becoming quite as uh, monotonous as, as it could, could well have been. Now the game is a single load, so that's pretty good. Uh, uh, the graphics are actually pretty good for a single load, I think. There's quite a lot of graphics crammed in here. Quite a lot of variety uh, on each level. There's not too much variety in the, on, on the sprites. Uh, uh, okay. Overall, I think the graphics are pretty, pretty decent. The sound effects are great. Uh, Sound effects by uh, David Whittaker. Uh, of course, this game is probably most famous for its uh, loading music, which was by Rob Hubbard, and uh, it's quite a, it's a decent tune for its time, for sure. Very popular back in the day. With these barriers. Bit of practice here. One more go. Yeah, so uh, the gameplay, I mean, that's quite simplistic, but uh, I think it plays well enough, to be honest. Uh, well, certainly, uh, I mean, there's certainly uh, shooting ups are far better, a bit better than this on the 64, but uh, I think the gameplay is just about above average. So uh, I'll give it, um, I'll give it uh, six out of ten, I think, which means it, you know it's above average, but it's nothing, nothing particularly special. It's polished, but the gameplay does get repetitive uh, fairly quickly. But, um, until then, though, it's, uh, it's definitely a decent enough little shooter, I think. Uh, and uh, you know, definitely recommended uh, you know, pick up play now and then. It's certainly quite fast, uh, a lot faster than most shoot mops on the 64 I think. More go at this level. It's one of these games that's probably a bit easier with a auto fire joystick if you're that way inclined. Uh. Oh, I hate this bit. 
it forces you to go at maximum speed when you're trying to avoid these barriers. That's a bit of a pain. Okay, I managed to scrape my way back there. I think I got an extra life there as well. On to the second bonus stage, which is a sort of collect them up. Uh, This, but a bit rusty now. It's quite a short recurring pattern here, it's quite easy to learn. Another extra life. Oops. Right, well, there's not much more I can show you of Sanction. Um, yeah, it's uh, okay. Just just above average, I think. Uh, it's polished, but uh, gameplay doesn't isn't too hot. Uh, it's okay. Oh, uh, yep, six, I think 6 uh, 10 is decent enough score. Right, that's all for this video, and uh, see you in the next one.